Well, this is unexpected, but Joe Biden is officially sending the rockets to Ukraine that were not expected to be sent. Despite the belief that Biden would not, Biden is now agreeing to send advanced rocket systems to Ukrainians to fight Russians. These systems are feared to be able to hit targets of up to 80 kilometers within Russian territory from within Ukraine, and Russia has already warned that a serious consequences would occur if such weapon support was being sent to Ukraine so that Ukraine could potentially hit allies. So why would Biden do this? Well, let's talk about this and let's talk about the specific weapon and other details. First, quick note, yes, tonight is the final night of the amazing coupon code for the programs on building your wealth expiring. That is a link down below. The prices will be revised up by the largest amount we have ever had within the next 12 hours. So take a look at that link down below and take advantage of the coupon code before it expires. So what are these rockets? Well, these are precision rockets called high mobility artillery rocket systems. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a few photos of how these rockets are usually delivered. You can see them here on the back of a truck. This is a truck delivery style system where you can send rockets anywhere between 48 miles to 300 miles away. Now, the range does depend on the type of rocket munition that is chosen. The United States has chosen to send munitions that could reach approximately 48 miles away. And the United States has agreed to send these rockets on the condition that Ukraine will only use these for defense. That Ukraine will not use these rockets to strike targets within Russia. This was a big no-no for Russia. Russia has argued publicly that there will be severe consequences for any NATO ally that provides such weapons to strike targets within Russia. Now, Biden announced this decision, which is a U-turn from the prior decision where they said they will not send these weapons. This is a U-turn. And Biden announced the decision in a New York Times opinion editorial piece that was released Tuesday evening. That is Tuesday, May 31st, late in the evening. Now, Biden does believe that right now there is no indication that Russia will respond in any nuclear way. However, this is clearly on the mind of some. Biden does not want a war between Russia and NATO nations. However, by sending these satellite-guided mobile artillery rockets, these precision rockets, there is a chance of aggravating the assault with Russia. If Russia does not pay a heavy price for its actions, says Biden. It will send a message to other would-be aggressors that they too can seize territory and subjugate other countries to their control, Biden wrote in this New York Times opinion editorial. He also says it could mark the end of rules-based international order and open the door to aggression elsewhere with catastrophic consequences the world over. Clearly, at least presumably, but also clearly, Joe Biden here is referring to the potential for China to invade Taiwan. And so Biden is making the argument that if we do not help Ukraine repel Russia, we will be inviting a war between China and Taiwan. Well, folks, I'm shocked that these weapons are finally being delivered by the United States to Ukraine. We'll see where it goes, but this is likely to create more tension for the coming days. And more tension is likely to lead to more uncertainty in markets. Good luck out there and consider checking out the programs of Building Your Wealth link down below. And folks, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much and goodbye.